Hi everyone and welcome back to another Jacobs Badminton video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to use the wrist, making sure that we're not getting any pain. So if you're someone that struggles with pain in the wrist or the wrist hurts the next day, then hopefully the tips and tricks we're going to show you today are going to help prevent that pain and make sure you've got the right grip for the right shot and pronating and supinating the wrist in the right way. This is going to hopefully give us more power and fine tune your game when you're next on court. So let's take a look at the shots we've got in store. So the first thing we're doing wrong is we're not pronating the wrist. We're just going backwards to forwards. Okay, and doing this, you won't be able to generate any power and also holding the wrong grip won't help you get different angles and different shots like slices, clips, maybe even clears. When we pronate, that will allow us to generate more power. But when we hold this wrong grip overhead, we won't get any power and also we're going to struggle a little bit with the angles and trajectory and even slices. It can also hurt your wrist when you're holding. Okay, so let's break down the overhead shot. First of all, you need to have the correct grip, which is a forehand grip. Other people call it the handshake grip or the choppy grip. This allows us to pronate when we're playing an overhead shot. It also allows us to hit lots of variety of shots, such as the reverse slice, the cross slice, also smashes and clips and clears. This will help you become a better player and also progress playing badminton. So for our backhand flick serve, we see a lot of people having a forehand grip and trying to use the wrist to generate power. Well, this certainly doesn't help. This limp wrist, or what we call the swan technique, is not gonna give us any power because we're not able to push with the thumb and squeeze with the fingers. We're also not gonna get much control because we're coming across like this. So it's gonna be bringing our shot in this direction rather than hitting straight through the line. So looking at the correct grip, we should be having our thumb grip for the backhand serves, placing that thumb on the back of the racket, and we want to have a nice relaxed grip as well. It's important we don't hold it too tight, so that as we hit, we can generate power by squeezing the fingers, getting that nice snap action. And also, we're going to be able to hit straight through the line of the shot as we're playing our serve. Although we can have a panhandle grip for both the wrong and the right technique here, by having that panhandle grip and using the wrist like this and flopping it over with that bent wrist we've talked about, actually that's going to drag the racket down into the net and similar to our backhand serves, it's going to mean we're not getting any power with that finger squeeze. And you can see I'm going to drag that down and it's already <laughs> just showing you guys some causing me a little bit of pain here on the back of the wrist. So hopefully using the correct technique and not doing it like this is going to prevent some pain and hopefully give us a little bit more power as well. So 
with our pan handle grip for these neck heels, we're gonna make sure again, we have a nice relaxed grip. So I'd sometimes call it soft fingers. So making a little bit of space here between the handle and the bottom of the hand. So we've got a little bit of room to maneuver the racket and use these three fingers to generate power as we squeeze the racket. Okay, getting that nice snappy, short action as we play our kill. And you can see you should be getting what I call a rebound as you squeeze and relax the grip. The racket naturally comes back, it doesn't follow through and stop down here. So hopefully doing it like this is going to give you a little bit less pain and a slightly better, more consistent angles on your shots as well. our forehand lifts we don't want to have this pan handle grip and be using the wrist like this because everything is a little bit too straight and what this doesn't give us is the ability to try and create the angles turn it cross court it's certainly a little bit more difficult to then rotate the forearm from here and play the shuttle cross court For our forehand lifts, what we should have, first of all with the grip, is a forehand grip. So that handshake, V grip we've talked about in our grips video already. Um, this grip allows us to use our forehand rotation, so pronating the forearm as we're hitting for a little bit more power. Um, it also allows us as well, if we want to turn the shuttle cross court, it's going to allow us to create those angles so much easier and play slightly tighter nets as well as rotating the forearm for cross court lifts when we need to too. So we should be, as we're stepping in here, lifting through and rotating that forearm. And you can see how the racket starts slightly outside. We don't want to be straight with that panhandle grip we've just talked about. So forehand grip, racket slightly out to the side and then again, nice soft fingers, relaxed grip to begin with squeezing and rotating as we hit that shot. overhead backhand shot we need to make sure that we don't have this swan effect okay where the wrist is bent forwards this won't allow us to generate any power it will also not be deceptive and hitting cross will become a lot more difficult also when you're doing this you want to make sure that your elbow is not too tucked in because this also stops you from generating power going in a straight line another negative because sometimes it's hard to hit straight as well. Okay, let's now have a look at what the wrist is meant to do for the backhand overhead shot. So first of all, you need to hold the correct grip. I tend to hold a bevel grip, because if you hold a proper backhand, it's very awkward on the wrist, and also it's more difficult to then hit it cross. So I hold more of a bevel, and I also do a supination technique. I start off here, and then I supinate, and I squeeze the fingers and rotate all the way around. This way, I get more control, I get more power, and it also allows me to hit cross much more easy with deception. A 
I hope those examples help show you how to use the wrist in the correct way and why it's so important when you're playing, um, as well as having the right grip for each of those shots. So if you want to see our latest video on badminton grips, click here, and something else from us, click here. I'll see you in the next one. Out.